So am I live, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to keep my eyes on the road, but I'm just going to give a little brief summary of, of today. So today was the first time I took Ella's errand. Uh, note the name, that's the combination of Ella and Seren's name, um, which is our last homebred um, thoroughbred, who I decided to stop racing and we've made her into a riding horse. So uh, that decision was only taken in January of this year. So she's still quite a raw project anyway. Um, today was the first dressage test and um, first outing. It was a kind of last minute decision and only decided to do it on Thursday, um, taking the place of a friend of mine. So, um, which means not a lot of time to learn a test and um, Snippy still got quite a lot to learn um, on the flat, but we thought we'd give it a go. So, um, with Snippy, that's her stable name, Avella's Erin, um, most of the time it's the other things that are quite difficult with Snippy. That's the handling her and dealing with her from the ground. So I kind of knew it was going to be a bit of a challenge. So we got to the show field about an hour and a half before we needed to be there so that she could take in the surroundings. And um, it's fair to say she was quite a handful. Um, she lunged herself and uh, trotted around. She quite liked the church bells that were in the background. Um, so that was okay. Um, and you can never legislate for what these horses do because they always catch you out. So there's me thinking, um, I was about to learn my first lesson, you don't go on your own. I do lots of things on my own, but this probably wasn't advisable to do this on my own. So my horse that normally loads really easily um, decided to not go back on the box, which meant I couldn't saddle her. And then I'm sort of getting a bit panicked because I can't get changed, can't saddle, I can't get back in the box. So I thought I will see if I can tie her up to the trailer. Tied her up to the trailer, run round into the front of my trailer to get changed, get my trousers off, and I hear it a mighty clunk. Um, and she's pulled back loose from the trailer, and she's now obviously loose. I have no trousers on. And then I hear another clunk and she jumped the drawbar between the trailer and the car. So um, I have no trousers on and I've got to catch her and she's trotting around the field. So I quickly put my trousers back on and thought, well, that's not gonna work. So caught her and now I'm panicking about how I'm gonna get it tacked up. Thankfully, my daughter and her friend arrived then and she's back from a sleepover and she was able to lead her around whilst I um, got my gear on and got on her and um, actually in fact once I was on her that was slightly easier um, I've probably gone through the main drama of the day um, rode a disastrous test thought I knew it um, but just because I had a little bit of a doubt about the last bit of the test I said to a friend of mine will you call it um, she called it incorrectly and uh, so the four, four and a half minute test it took me over five minutes by the time I've worked out where I've gone wrong. So um, not completely ideal, but another experience. And um, yeah, it was uh, one for the one for the diary. <laughs>